I'm going to show you guys how to do the um, knockout technique using Silhouette Studio. Go ahead and get you an image. I got this from Google. I just copied it and saved it into my files. Grab your image and put it on the canvas. You're going to resize it so that you can see what you're doing. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the trace panel. And I will trace this image so that it can become a, fi a cut file or SVG file, whatever. Once you get your um, image traced, go ahead and clear your canvas and then uh, make sure your trace image is on the canvas. And I change the color so that I can see what I'm doing. So once you have that, you can resize it if you want to. I'm going to make it a little smaller because I have to put it on the words. Go ahead and add your words. And I'm going to do Queens are born in March. This is for my friend because it's her birthday and it's March. Once you have your words typed out, go ahead and change the font. And I'm going to change the color also. So I'm going to pick a nice bold font so that... Um, you can see the image in the, the words. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup my words and then group them as one word um, together. That way I can move them around and resize them separately if you're familiar with silhouette studio i'm pretty sure you already know how to do this if not just go and watch more videos on how to ungroup and group and um change your fonts and sizes so now that i have everything pretty much how i want it i'm gonna go ahead and make sure everything is centered And then go ahead and just group everything back. So make sure your image is on top of your words. Make sure it's in the front, basically. I'm just sizing and making sure, you know, it's where I want it to be. So everything is pretty much centered. I'm going to go ahead and make a duplicate copy of this. You want to have two duplicate copies. These are not grouped together. So now you want to go ahead and go to your modify panel. In the first group of words and image, you're going to go to subtract. And then you'll go to the second set and go to crop. Now that you have those together, you can go ahead and group them. Okay, there you have it. Your knockout design is complete. You can go ahead and put those on top of each other just to see how it's going to look. And I think it looks really cute. So instead of me um, cutting it, I'm going to actually... Well, if you're going to cut yours, make sure you cut them in separate pieces. Cut your red first or your black first and then cut the other. Then once you get ready to press it, you're going to layer them. Um, I'm actually going to group mines and do sublimation. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Queens are born in March.